I'll walk through these relatively quickly uh, and then show you some examples. So uh, the first one I wanted to show you uh, was one called Storyline. Storyline is made by a company called Archiver, which builds a lot of really cool apps. It allows you to take uh, 20 to 25 photos maximum on your phone, uh, load them into Storyline, and uh, you can create a little audio slideshow. Uh, and you can record audio, a voiceover. You can't load video or audio into it. You have to load uh, and uh, load it by recording yourself off the phone or recording a source off a phone. Uh, and you can uh, record uh, off the phone and then swipe through the photos as you're narrating. Um, it's good for a quick and dirty short slideshow, uh, maybe from an event you've covered and you want to get something up quickly. Um, it's also good for person on the street interviews. You can shoot a, a photo of one person. We've done this on election night. Shot a photo of a person uh, and then recorded a short interview with them very quickly on the phone uh, and then tweeted it out. You know, here's John Smith from Phoenix. Uh, he was really upset about the four hour line. He had to stand in to vote today. Um, that type of story. So uh, Storyline, really good app by Archiver. Um, uh, here are a couple others that are helpful for social media images. Uh, Adobe Spark Post and the Over app. Um, Over has been around for about five, six years now. It's a really good app. It allows you to take a photo off your phone, uh, tap on that photo, and layer some text over it. You can put a quote over the top of it or maybe a statistic or something like that. Uh, it gives you a lot of different font selections, some different colors you can use for the fonts, uh, and so on. Uh, Adobe Spark Post uh, does the same. Um, you can layer text over a photo. Adobe Spark Page is a little different. It's both an app and a desktop version. And I'll show you an example of one later. It allows you to do these little vertical slideshows, uh, much like you would do in a Tumblr where you post uh, a series of photos in there and a little text in between them. And I'll show you an example of what you can do with Adobe Spark Page. All three of these tools, uh, as well as Storyline, are, are very intuitive to use, very, very easy uh, to use. Um, here's an example of a text card that you could put on a tweet. Uh, this was from the San Bernardino shootings, uh, and CNN was covering them. Uh, notice in the tweet you have kind of the call to action, the hashtag, the link to their updates page. But really, the facts uh, of what was going on at the time, uh, uh, you can find in this little text card area right in the middle uh, of the, uh, uh, right, attached right to the bottom of the tweet. Um, you know, at least 14 people killed, a quote from a police official, what the police chief thought, uh, and then the where the shootings happened kind of answers that who, what, when, where, why. And these text cards are very helpful um, to not only give the reader more information, but it also helps kind of tease the tweet a little bit. Uh, when you're going through your Twitter stream or your uh, Facebook stream, uh, you tend to gravitate toward posts that have images in them or some type of graphics. So... Uh, something to keep in mind uh, as you're doing social media posts is using these images. Here's another tool for doing images uh, uh, attached to social media. It's called Ripple. It allows you to layer animated text over photos and graphics. You can also layer some audio uh, in there. There's uh, music uh, that will uh, play over the top of it. Um, again, it's a very good one for quick and dirty, you know, photo from a basketball game and uh, maybe you type into Ripple the score. Uh, and have the score come slide in. It actually animates the text. It slides in over the top of the photo. Uh, they give you four or five really good templates for the free version of the app. Uh, the paid version of the app gives you a little more as far as uh, templates and with audio. So uh, the pay paid version uh, is okay, uh, but I would just go with the free version. It has some really good options. Ripple. Um, another good one's Periscope. I know many of you live stream over Facebook Live. Uh, Periscope's really nice because you can share it over Twitter. Um, and other social channels, uh, really, really good little app uh, for live streaming a, a breaking news event, a press conference, a meeting, anything like that. Uh, be warned, though, it does uh, suck a lot of battery, Periscope does, so make sure you have a Mophie charger or something like that. Here's another app that sucks a lot of battery power out of your phone, but is absolutely awesome. It's called the Bubbly app. It allows you to create 360-degree photo bubbles on your phone uh, and then share them over social media, or if you uh, upload it on the desktop version, you can have uh, embed code uh, that you can embed it right into a story. And I'll show you some examples of some bubblies uh, in a minute. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, but this video here kind of shows how it works. You hold your phone horizontally, uh, and then you will uh, record in it 
uh, by tilting your phone up and down sideways as you're doing here, the demo's doing here. It's a guy out on his fire escape. You hit the little record button on the right. You notice it gives you the little percentage at the bottom. That shows you how much of uh, a percentage of the screen that you're painting. And when it gets up to 100%, uh, then you'll be able to hit that button on the right uh, and it will uh, uh, stitch all of the uh, images together that you've painted here. Uh, and you'll have a nice seamless photo bubble. Um, I do want to point out this isn't real great with uh, crowds, you know, with people or cars driving by or moving by you. It'll cut them off. Uh, but if you're in an area that you're know, maybe you're shooting a landscape or kind of a, a stable area or people are off in the distance walking, uh, you'll be able to use this app pretty uh, effectively. And again, it's a really good little way uh, to uh, uh, build a quick photo bubble and share it. You would hit that save button in the upper right hand corner. It'll build it. And what's nice is it will send you a little text. Uh, when it's done, uh, or send you a little email, excuse me, uh, when it's done saying that it's finished processing. It'll, it'll take up to five minutes to process uh, before you can link to it, tweet it, Facebook it, and so on. So that's Bubbly, B-U-B-B-L-I. That's an iOS app. Uh, if you want to find a similar tool uh, on uh, Android, it's Bubble, B-U-B-B-L. Hyperlapse is another iOS tool. It's built by Instagram and makes really, really nice time-lapse videos. Um, timeless videos are great for if you're moving, uh, you're on a train, you're on a, uh, a skateboard, a bicycle, or driving in a car, you know, you can uh, uh, record a time lapse video of you moving, or you can stay in one place and record a time lapse of everything moving around you traffic, people, whatever, uh, uh, walking by, uh, that, and so on. Hyperlapse is iOS only, uh, but if you have an Android phone, lapse it, time lapse it, frame lapse, uh, do pretty much the same thing. Uh, the one advantage time lapse has, it's got really good steady cam in it, so it will really smooth out uh, your time lapse video. Um, really, really good uh, app. And I'll show you some examples in a little bit of how you can use hyperlapse. Cardboard camera is one of my favorites. It allows you to shoot 360 degree uh, panorama photos and uh, drop it into your Google Cardboard, uh, and you can look in 360 degrees on it. Um, cardboard camera has been out since summer 2016. Uh, a good little app, um, a really good quick, clean way. Uh, you can shoot vertically and, and uh, uh, you can do a 360 panorama with it. You just pirouette uh, in the position you're in. There's a little arrow that directs you which way to pirouette. Fuse is one that's uh, still relatively new. Uh, it allows you to shoot 3D uh, images. Um, it allows you to shoot around a stable object. So you hit the record button and then you maybe you're at a museum and you want to walk around a statue and, and record 360 degree video, video of it. Um, this uh, will do that for you. It gives you a 3D uh, uh, video, but you're moving around the object rather than the object, uh, you being in one spot and kind of recording everything around you. Fuse, F-Y-U-S-E. Google Street View, great app. Uh, it works somewhat similar to cardboard camera, except you can uh, create more of a photo bubble with it rather than just a 360 panorama. And the other nice thing about it is it uh, allows you to publish them and, and uh, put, drop them right into Google Maps so people can search in Google Maps and find them, um, especially if you're in a very popular place. And uh, you can see here the uh, car, the bike, and the, the little robot there uh, that allows Google to record Street View that you can find in Google Earth and Google uh, Maps when you're uh, searching for locations. Uh, they ro record Street View video but, uh, or photos, uh, but you can as well using the Street View app on your phone. Again, very simple to use. Uh, you just pirouette and it shows you how to line everything up and get the shot. Um, recording apps, I get a lot of questions about recording apps. Uh, tape a Call and the Recorder app are great for recording phone conversations right off your phone. Um, be careful with these as they do uh, charge you to pay for storage. Uh, so the minute you're done with an interview, I would download it to my desktop on my computer where you can edit it and store it. Uh, for free and then uh, delete it off of your phone so you don't uh, it doesn't stop you and uh, start charging you for storage uh, on the phone app. So uh, one nice feature that Recorder has, um, and these both of these apps are very WYSIWYG, very easy to use. What you see is what you get. Um, the Recorder app does have one feature that's kind of cool. When you're uh, recording someone, it comes on when they first pick up the call and ask them uh, or tells them, uh, that the phone conversation is being recorded because remember it's uh, illegal to surreptitiously tape phone conversations in some states. So you got to be very careful with that. Um, and that app will do that for you. If not, just make sure the person knows at the beginning of the interview that it's being recorded. Google Translate, I'm kind of lukewarm on this one. It's okay. 
Uh, you can translate into 104 different languages using this phone app, which has a camera that allows you to uh, shoot photos of a sign or something that's in another language, and it'll give you a very rough translation. It's also got an audio button that's real nice. You can record yourself in English, translate it into Spanish, very good if you're traveling. Um, but do know that Google Translate uh, you know, has some errors in it, has trouble, trouble conjugating verbs sometimes, uh, and, and nouns as well. Um, so the translation can be a little rough sometimes. Uh, just never take anything out of Google Translate and quote it per se into a story. Always double check uh, to make sure that translation is accurate by Googling it, uh, by going to another translation tool, things like that. So it's always good to fact, fact check anything that you get from a tr any translation tool. Um, Big View is a fun one. It's a little uh, uh, social video studio. So we've got a little teleprompter in it. You can load a script in, uh, mount it onto a tripod, uh, and then record yourself doing a little stand-up somewhere. And the young lady here is doing it in front of a green screen. Uh, but, you know, it could be anywhere. You could be out in the field. Uh, just make sure you mic yourself up on this. Uh, otherwise, uh, the phone mics on your, uh, 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 the phone mics don't do a good job of picking up the audio very well. Um, so that was it. Um, just a reminder to put hashtags and handles on your posts. And Google test my site, really good for checking uh, uh, speed on a mobile device or on your uh, mobile website, excuse me. Uh, and see how fast it loads on mobile and desktop. Testmysite.thinkwithgoogle.com. So that's it uh, for mobile reporting tools. Thanks for tuning in.